What's up guys, Franco here, nextlevelballplayer.com, hanging with Yonder Alonzo. Appreciate you taking a few minutes to sit it. down with us. No problem. We'll hop right into it. Uh, first question, what's a baseball related lesson you learned early on that's kind of led to your success? Well, you know, just basically love the game. You know, uh, have fun with it. Don't don't treat it so much as, as a shore, but just kind of, uh, just enjoy it. You know, I think my, my dad, my dad was a big part of my, my baseball career. And, and, you know, one thing he always told me was, you know, you got to go out there and enjoy the game. Let's just go out there to just run around and just kind of, you know, not give it your 100%. And, and you know, when, when you're doing that, you, you gift yourself to, to the team and to the people, the fans and everybody that's watching you. And at the end of the day, you're going to get the most out of it. Yeah. So you were drafted out of high school in the 15th round, I mm -hmm. believe, um, and decided to go to University of Miami. Yeah. Um, so what is uh, what was one of the harder adjustments for you to make to transition to big time D1 baseball? Just maturing, maturing. You know, I think uh, a lot of kids take for granted the game of baseball. Um, you know, at all times, uh, maybe when I was younger, I didn't take it as serious, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't see the the level where where I can be and reach my my potential, but. You know, at all times, you know, when I got to college, it was, it was all about the game and, and learning how to play the game and, and learning how to respect the game, which is one of the biggest things that I ever learned was yeah, respect the game. So, um, after that, you know, it was uh, just loving the game and playing it and, and trying to be the best that I can be. Yeah, that's great. So you go through Miami, right. end up um, getting drafted in the first round this right. time, and uh, you decided to go with the Reds. Yep. What was that hardest adjustment transition from college to professional oh, man. baseball? There's so many transitions, but uh, <laughs> there's so many. We can sit here and talk for, for days, but but you know I think it was uh, how to how to just go about the game in, in a professional way, and uh, you know I felt like like a, as a as a minor league as a collegiate player is completely different from a, a pro guy. You know they they look out they look at you from not just in the field but outside the field and. And uh, you know you got to put in those times where you got to work when nobody's watching, and uh, you know you got to know that that there's a level where, where you you, you want to get to, and uh, you know it's, it's very high, but but I'm definitely going to try to to reach it. That's great. Now you know being the number seven overall draft pick, there's some pressure that comes along with that, some high expectations. Like how did you manage that and, and, and stay well, focused? Oh, just knowing that I was prepared. I, I prepared myself very well during the off season, um, and I knew that that if I did that throughout the off season, I was going to be ready to. To, for a six months full of baseball and, and you know treat it as a 100% type thing and uh, you know I prepare myself better than, than anyone I think and uh, you know uh, hopefully uh, it shows up every year yeah that's great um, what's the best piece of hitting advice hitting advice received? oh the best piece was uh, my dad always just tell me just see the ball hit the ball and uh, you know a lot comes with that you know when you really think about it you know it's just basically not thinking uh, just just not trying to do too much just uh, enjoying your swing at the moment and uh, you know just going with it I feel like like the more you try to do the worse it is for you and uh, you know it's funny when you face guys and in, in any any league any caliber you, you always try to do a little bit too much sometimes but but I'm telling you the, the best advice was don't try to do too much see the ball and hit the ball yeah all right we're back um, we're just talking about seeing the ball hit the ball keeping it simple um, keeping a quiet mind in the batter's yeah. box what do you specifically do to actually put yourself in that quiet mind um you know a lot goes into it i think i think a lot goes into before the game just uh, having a game plan with, with the pitcher you know you there's so much scouting report on guys and and you kind of build your your little you know report on him and, and your, your little on how you're going to face that guy how you're going to go go to battle with that guy and uh you know even even when when there was no scouting report you know maybe in college you know i make sure i paid attention to the pitcher at all times so uh, from the minute he was in the bullpen throwing, getting ready for the game, I was watching. Uh, from the minute he, he stepped on the mound, right before he was about to throw his inning, I, I was watching. You know, trying to see if he tipped anything. You know, if it was if he tipped his fastball, if he tipped his off speed, and and just just go from there. And I think that's what made me a good hitter. Is you know, I always paid attention to the game, and you know, I never let let you know other guys tell me kind of what to do, other teammates, or just. just Hey, let's go play around. Let's go horseplay a little bit. No, I was always paying attention to the game and enjoying the game for what it was. 
That's great. Do you have a specific routine from the from the dugout to the on deck circle to the batting yeah, box? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I watch when I'm in the dugout. I'm watching the pitcher at all times, and, and, and I'm watching the game. You know, you, a lot. You can learn a lot from just watching the game, uh, learning learning the the outfielders, learning the, the decision players and how they're the decision. But you know, once I go into the batter's box, I, I go in through my mode with with the pitcher and what he's trying to do to me and what he's trying to get me out with. And, you know, then I make an adjustment towards that, and, and, and I think that's the key right there. What I just said was making an adjustment day in and day out, and you know I think if you're able to do that, you, you can definitely go to the next level and kind of reach wherever you want to go to. That's great. Do you have a specific uh, hitting drill or something you go back to if you find yourself in a slump that can kind of refocus yeah. you and get you back on track? You know, I think I think the T, uh, the hitting T is the, the best thing, my favorite thing. But um, you know, I think mentally, you're your own coach, and uh, you know you got to be very strong uh, mentally and physically. But you know, this game is all mental, and uh, you know, I feel like like when you're going wrong, you just got to be a, a nice group of people that you trust and that you can definitely go to, and uh, you know, and just think about yourself and, and know that you're good, know that you can play the game, and uh, you know, after that, it, it becomes a little bit more physical, and you know, like I said, you go to the tee and, and you try to go in the cage and work with your hitting coach as much as, as much as possible, and. Uh, you know, hopefully it turns around for you very quick and, and you can move forward with it. Yeah. And uh, winding down, what's one piece of advice that you'd give aspiring ball players out there that want to take their game to the next level and just continue to improve? Just believe in yourself, man. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, a lot of people are going to doubt you. A lot of people are going to tell you, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, you know, I think you, you can do whatever you want in life. You can play the game. You can, you know, why, why can't you be the next Barry Bonds? Why can't you be the next Alex Rodriguez? You know, why can't you be the next Joey Votto? I mean, there's... I'm sure at one point they were just as the same as you guys were playing little league ball, and uh, you know I definitely think you guys can reach that goal. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I appreciate you your time. That's, All right. that's good stuff. It's, 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 it's,